What makes someone a great writer? After all, there are thousands of authors all around the globe. You in the audience might have thought to write a book or a poem, but something has stopped you from doing that. Maybe it was fear. Maybe it was the lack of time that you had. But hang on. I can teach you how you can write something that will touch people within that short amount, short amount of time that you have during your precious day. So, you had a pretty rough day, right? You're feeling really down. Extrovert or introvert alike, we all have the right to be sad, but sadness can lead to destructive thoughts. <sighs> <clears throat> so, now you may try to, put your, to pour your heart out on some sheets of paper, but you go out on the street, you see a beautiful sky, or you see a really malnourished child begging at the corner of the street. The power of writing is the power to make people relate to you, so now you go inside <coughs> again. You start to compare yourself with the sky or with that child you have seen begging at the corner of the street. Also, in writing, you have to get lost inside of your mind. So don't be scared to acknowledge the bad parts of you. Because even in the darkest corners, light would shine. And now you wrote a short story or a poem. Now, I would recommend to you to go to talk with your friends about it because they can relate, relate the best to what you say. <sighs> so, you have to trust me. I wrote a book and the feeling you get when you finish it is something out of this world. Sure, for me, it was a journey filled with ups and downs. But in order to write and in order to discover myself, I had to be honest with myself. I had to go where I wouldn't have dared to go before. But for you, you're not maybe as sad as it was for me because I wrote a TED book during a period of emotional turmoil. And now, you might want to, to take your work to the next level. You might want to publish it. You only have to take into account constructive praise or criticism. So, remember, remember, in order to be a writer, you have to be honest with you. And remember to draw the people to you by being imperfect, because imper imperfection is what drives people towards your work. So now, after I told you a bit of my story and I gave you some of the advices that helped me through my journey, what's stopping you from becoming a bestseller author, aspiring writer? 